Trying to confirm a miracle in the Quran with something we say is observed in text of a culture whose religion you also say is false. We're talking about historic documentation, not religious text. What's the difference at that point? Sure, there's a difference. One is religious texts that, that talk about Hanuman or uh, Sita or Ram or those things that have no historic references. One is a king in India that we can refer to not time, time, place and all of that saying he observed something but in a book of history, not a religious belief. But did he also make supernatural claims in that same text? No. It's a historic not. text. No. That was a king. It wasn't a religious figure. Because there's also a text in the Mayan well, calendar that says Iran, for example, you that, for Iran example, is a majority the earth started with turtles. Yeah, so okay, what does that have to do with anything? So it has historical documentation. The, Again, no, wait, I'm, my, I'm sorry. It's, it's a history. claim of something they saw? Yes, or is that, that they saw? Ancestors saw this. Okay, so, so the question then becomes. Wait, so can I? This is why I, was, I wanted to finish because I wasn't done with. It's not just there. Uh -huh. It's not just the Mayan. It's not just the Hindu. The people that were physically there that saw the splitting of the moon, uh -huh. they those ahadith are recorded, checked for authenticity. Who said it? When they said it? Right? Okay. And it's also accompanied and supported by people that were not physically in the same geographical location. So what I'm saying is, once you get the scientific miracle, which you've granted us, and then you've got the linguistic miracles, then you've got, for example, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excellent. So when you look at the Quran, which is called Balagha, if you've studied Arabic, continue. have you studied Arabic? Continue. Oh. I, I, that's a question so I can continue. I don't know. Have you studied Arabic? Yes or no? Know. You don't know if you studied Arabic. Please continue. Please continue. Oh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm trying to have a civil conversation. But the reason, the reason I'm asking is because if you have, then I can explain things to you with the essence of Balagha. And if you haven't, then I have to explain that. So the question is very simple. Have you... Okay. It's a pretty pathetic God who okay. requires that everybody speak a particular language to okay. understand America. I'm not sure who requires everybody to speak Arabic. Well, Nobody. So you're saying, it sounds like you're suggesting that a miracle is only observable if nope. I understand Arabic nope. is Nope, I did not say that. Please do not insert words into my mouth. Let me explain something. Okay. You asked me about the linguistic miracle. Sure. And you started to go about in, Arabic and then I studied. Again, I'm speaking and you're interrupting. Well, I'm trying to clarify. I, I know, but remember, remember when you were speaking and I didn't interrupt you to clarify? Okay. So if I'm speaking, please, let's, I mean, if we have respect, then we can have a conversation, right? Okay. So when we talk about the scientific miracles, that has nothing to do with language. Okay? We've already granted that. So, so you don't have to speak Arabic to know the miracle of the Quran. But when you ask the linguistic miracles, then I have to ask you about Arabic because inna anzalnahu Quranan Arabiya. Quran was revealed in the Arabic language. So, so the linguistics of the Quran have to be in Arabic because that's the language it was revealed in. Okay? So for example, if we talk about the beauty of Shakespeare, you will not understand it in Chinese. You can, you'll have to be explained. You'll have to learn English to understand that. If you want to know the beauty of Spanish poetry, when you translate it, it's different. Difference? Yeah, no, there isn't there because okay. not to be the I'm going to let you speak then. Then you let if me speak. Going, is there an also requires clarification. Sure, but if you keep interrupting, then I can't make a point, right? Can you make points? Okay, then let me finish and then you can refute it. No, no, because see, like see, now, 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 now you're, really now you're getting, now you're getting upset because I'm showing you evidences. No, you're not. Look, that's, that's, that's the scientific part. miracles, the linguistic miracles, the mathematical miracles, the historic evidence. Yeah. The, if you put all of that together, sure. I believe an illiterate man in a desert uh -huh. that had no access to such knowledge, that had okay. never been to an ocean, sure. would not know that there are waves underneath the ocean. That would okay. not know that sweet I'll water that. and salt water. Yeah. Those things that the Arabs didn't know. Sure. that they, they disputed about but they were came to be true okay. this shows the miraculous nature of this book this is the word of Allah that's what I believe but you have an option to believe it or not why not how do you explain it then so that, that's what we call that's, uh -huh. that's a, a, a logical fallacy it's called the argumentum ad ignorantum. I have no other explanation, therefore I'm going to accept this claim. That's not true, because the claim is in the Quran itself. So the Quran is true because the Quran says it's true? The Quran is true because it tells you it's true and scientifically, <laughs> scientifically, can I, can I finish now? Sign, okay, so let's talk about the Bible, okay? Sure, I don't believe either. You don't believe in the Bible? I don't think there's any God. Or okay, you don't believe in God at all? No. Okay, so explain to me where we came from. So this is another fallacy. Okay, that we didn't come from anywhere? 
<laughs> I'm not saying that. What okay. I'm saying is because I don't have an explanation. It's okay. Not make yours so you so you do admit that you don't have an explanation. I think we have a pretty good idea, but again, you do. So what is it? Here, here's my explanation. Okay, I'm listening. Let's say I didn't have any answers. Okay. That does not resolve you. I'm sorry. Does not absolve you of the responsibility to provide empirical evidence for sure. your explanation. Okay. So. So you're providing so far logical fallacies to okay. to to buttress your argument. Let me. However, you have not. You said you wanted. I'm listening. To, right. So. Let's say I don't. Let's say I don't. I don't even know why I'm here. I don't even know who my mother or father are. Right. That does not mean that if you say, well, you're here because pixies had sex and they had like rainbow sperm and now you're here because you're a big old gay person, right? I am no more inclined to believe that argument than yours because I would be first require empirical evidence. Now, a confluence of, of coincidences does not equal evidence. So you're saying, we're assuming, of course, that all the things according to the Quran are true, right? So sure. We've already agreed to that, so. He, he, the Quran says it's true because it's true. Well, no, no, you I read a book that says it's true because I, you know, this book is true and therefore the sky is actually purple. I mean, that's ridiculous. But I could also, again, make eight more claims. That I'm just part. listening. Sure. So to say that I don't have an answer, it makes your answer by default correct, is also fallacious. Because then the person who's never met a, a Muslim but has met now a Christian, well, they don't have any other explanation, but the Christian now has mm -hmm. Genesis, right? So that make, make Genesis true? Of course not. The claim, re extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. When you make a, I'm just listening right now. When you make a claim that everything was created, that's an extraordinary claim. But we have no evidence of things being created. You're done speaking? Yeah. Thank you. When you talk about an extraordinary evidence, uh -huh. I, we have already agreed that there are linguistic miracles, there are scientific miracles. Okay, scientific miracles. You, you said I'll give you that. No, I grant that for the sake of the argument. <laughs> Look, we're not here to debate. If you granted it, that means it's been granted. That means we've established it. So, 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 okay. You said you will grant us that there are scientific miracles. For the sake of the argument, yes. Okay, so we are saying that... I don't believe the argument. You can believe whatever you like, okay? But if there are scientific miracles, for the sake of the argument, you've granted it, so you can't go back now. No, no, I'm not granting it. <laughs> Look at you. What I'm saying is, I'm allowed... Look, okay, so if you allow me, then let me continue. You, you see how I listen to you and you're interrupting me the whole time now, right? You guys just sound like... like no, no, no. You can't make a continuous argument. Look, I think I, you're banking on the fact I'm just listening to you and you're not letting me refute because when I start to refute and you realize I'm right, then you corrupt me. Then you interrupt are you me. I'm being dishonest? Uh, yes, you are, in a way. Bye. Have a nice day. This is very People think I was. Good How you doing? God in Arabic. Yeah, a little better. Huh? Oh, are you even sick or? Yeah, I fell on the hot. Well, I fell on my heart. Oh, no. On the ground. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, man. I'm all right. Get something. Sure. Yeah, this is if you're gonna get anything, just something just take small. small yeah. There you go. Fuck size. There, so. yeah. there you <laughs> go, man. Right, thank you. Read up. You're welcome. Let us know if you have any questions. We're here. All right. Hope Thank you. Feel you. better.